Well, here is my periwinkle overshot. I don't know that I'm doing it right anymore. I think I've left out a lot of the tabby here. Isn't that beautiful, though? I just think that's the most lovely pattern ever. Let me see, I've got these parts done. And I'm almost at the end of the warp. So I'm just going to finish it up now. Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I could put you here. Maybe you'd like to just sit there and watch. This has one of these funny kind of things. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Petal five. how I was doing this before. Five. And then we go to five again. And then we'll do our tabby again. see what's happening because I'm not doing the tabby from the other side four. because I'm only I'm going one I'm not doing both tabbies I'm just doing one tabby and that's what's causing the problem four with how many are up see something different than you usually see. You can see going into here. See I have a floating string. This one, when I'm coming this way, it's up. When I'm going that way, it's down. I have one at either end. I'm sorry, I'm going to close the window and preserve the battery. So that was four. No, this is going to be four. So I push down on that. So we did five, five, four, four. And we did a tabby. Half a tabby then. So we go to three, one, two, three. I say that, what I mean is I'm pushing the pedal down, number two pedal down. I don't pull too tightly on this. Now this has got the one that swings from above, but I find that it doesn't work quite as well. Because your beat makes a difference. the three and we did the two. We go to five.
on this end. Five. That's what we need now. Should be alternating which tabby it's using. But then it'll mess up what the pattern looks like. So I did five five. And just do one five. I'm putting it under this time because I want to, I don't want to do that. Okay, five, five. Now I need to do the tabby again. Go under the floating thread. I have to be barefooted when I'm weaving so that I can feel the spaces in between the petals. Okay, so that was well, I did not want to go, didn't I? I can never remember. Oh, so this is the second four. Yep, same. So four, four, now I do the five. Periwinkle overshot, but only using one side of the tabbies. Okay, and then we're back to two. That wasn't right, was it? I think that's all right. Two. Three. 
and half of the tabby is really all I'm giving it because I should be going the other half as well. So that was the two and then the three and now we need a four. And the tabby. And then the this is going to fall off down. And then the three. Okay, and that is the entire pattern one time. And now I'll do the full tabby. Okay, so now we start it over. Now if I put a pin, if I put a pin right here in my last work, then I'll know I release the brake and I'm forwarding it. Okay, so here we go. Five. And I'm working from the other side. Five. And then the tabby on this side which is pedal six. Or if you had done it correctly, it was pedal two. So five, and the next one is five also. We'll go back with our tabby. down pedal four. Move back to this tabby now. Another four. Tabby to cross back. Kind of make sure this string down here doesn't get caught on your brake or your um, material things. Okay, so what have I done now? So here's five, five, four, four. So now I'm at three. And then we go back. With our tabby. And then we have two. This is called overshoot. So that's two. And then our tabby. Start again to five. Hi. Hello. Um, 
two people were here, Mary and Mona, but they left. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you say it again? Um, Mona was here and Mary was, uh, Mary. But they're not here in evidence. Where did they go? No, they went home. They both had reasons to go. Okay, well, I might do that too. I have to go to the vet. So, oh yes, Mona had a doctor's point. No, it was, Mary had a doctor's point. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. Yes, that's very pretty. Thank you. Thank you. So what are you leaving with? It's periwinkle overshot, and this is cotton and cotton. But I'm not doing my overshot completely. I'm going, I'm doing one half of a tabby. So uh -huh. I do my thing and one tabby. Right. And then, so I'm going over this way with the pattern. And then when I got to the next time, I, d I did the whole pattern. I mean, yeah, I did the whole tabby back and forth. And then I'm going this way with the pattern. Oh, I see. So, so you're reversing it. Yeah. So, um, you said cotton and cotton. You mean cotton and linen? Or this is cotton and this is oh, cotton. Oh, that'd be the warp and the weft. Okay. Because yeah. there is a mixed thing they sell as cotton. Oh, I see. No. Just so. each. Anyway, it's very pretty. Thank you very much. You're I'm right. trying to finish it up so that people can use the warp while I'm gone. <laughs> I, I'm going to Georgia off and on all, all winter. Oh, really? I'll take care of my mom and I'll come yeah. back here and keep going back and forth. Driving? Mm-hmm. I hate driving in the winter. Uh, you know, highway driving. Um, I could fly sometimes. Yeah. I may fly. The, the weather. Yeah, I may fly for the January trip or. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, it's a nice loom too. I like. I like to have I don't. Those. I don't like this. Is that what it's called? Oh, that no. This is a, called a um, over, over. What are these things anyway? Beater. It's an overhead beater. Oh, I don't like them beater. either. Oh, they're awful. No, but I like the the, the way this loom works. It's a counterbalance. Oh, it's a counterbalance. Okay, I have. That's a counterbalance, and that's a jack. Okay. So it's the ones that you know where. Because essentially each of these is balanced against the other one right. up or down like that. Okay. So. And a jack is what? A jack is like this. Each each treadle is independent. Okay. You can tie them together and right. then you just press one and it works too. But any two can be tied together. Right. So in some ways it's more flexible. Mm -hmm. Although the person who taught me says that you can weave anything on this. You just stomp on it harder. And I have done that. I've and you, you just stop? Stomp on the treadle harder. Oh, yeah. Because theoretically you just can do one and three and two and four. Oh, I see. Because that's how they're tied up to those rollers. Oh. But if you really want to do uh, one and two and three, or whatever you want to do, you can either tie it up that way, or you can just make it happen. I see. I didn't realize that. Yeah. I have a counterbalance loom at home. I'm not that good at leaving yet. I mean, I'm still pretty green. Yeah, me too, but I had a good teacher. I was quoting her. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye.